Hello everyone, Bill Silverlight here for the uh, the visit of Aqua, which I promised in the last video. Um, we're going to visit the whole city, uh, building by building, uh, telling you about the history of it. Seven months, uh, we can call it a history. Uh, I'm here with Cal, who was my uh, my assistant throughout most of the building. Hi, Cal. Hi. Um, he's Hi. he's he's French. He's got very good English, but he may be a little bit shyer than he was in the French version. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, I have, here a, I have an awful lot accent. So, <laughs> <laughs> so here's the uh, here's the glo first global view. You can't see the um, lighthouse unfortunately because the chunk isn't loaded. It's right behind the dome. Um, anyway, here let's um, let's go down one level. That's the first platform, and right down here we have a second one that's actually under level water. And you can see uh, you can see through the water uh, a lot of the buildings. So there, there we go. From here you see a lot of the main buildings. Uh, right here is uh, here, get my cursor. This is our uh, farm. Here we've got the main dome, the bank, the uh, the town hall, the hotel, the uh, we got the mall. Um, so a lot of a lot of things to see. Um, I'm sure we're going to have to split it up into two videos. So uh, let's keep going. Let's see. Um, I had three uh, three main assistants during this. Uh, Kyle, who stayed with me the whole time. Uh, this is his house as a reward with the I nice little garden. I had sweet if I if I had things. <laughs> and here is another one of my citizens' houses, uh, Talion, who helped a lot. I'll be referring to him once in a while. Things he did. Uh, this is one of the entrances to the underground system, which we'll be showing you later. And you'll see private houses here and there, which we won't necessarily show you. Here is the one apartment building of Aqua, with a failed. Uh, lift elevator. system, yeah, elevator system. It's uh, it's too bad, but you know, multiplayer with lag, it wasn't possible. So we dropped it. We have to repair it. And here we have a whole bunch of apartments. They don't all have a tenant, but uh, this one, for example, was made into a, a two-story apartment, which is quite nice. Uh, and you can see above this the glass that gives onto the water and you'll see it's very characteristic of aqua because you know you're underwater you want to know it you want to show it so very empty lobby i guess no one ever got around to furnishing it no one really knew what to put there no big deal and so yeah more private houses over here and this is the main dome this is the center of the city. Um, under here is the um, is the what do you call it? The central station. Uh, you have the uh, here a map of the metro, of the underground system. Over here, you've got all the announcements. Um, and this was the very first thing that was built when I planned out. I mean, the, the lake already has existed, and when I planned it out, I decided that this was the spot to put this center of the city. And so when this was built, even with the glass, there was absolutely nothing around it. I mean, it was cliffs of stone everywhere. Um, and so, Cal, do you want to tell us a little bit about how we emptied out this lake? Well, that was uh, quite um, a piece of work because we had to 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 mine every every piece of of stone in the in the bottom of the lake. And uh, we had to 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 get uh, to, to uh, how to say we we to had to remove to actually, water. Uh, yeah, we had so, to remove. So we put a lot of uh, of sand and uh, of gravel in order in order to to get rid of of the water, and, and it was quite a, a yeah. lot of of work. Yeah. Then we put a and layer of dirt on top, which is what we finally destroyed at the very end. But th this is to say that we didn't use a single cheat. No world edit. No giving ourselves resources. Nothing. Anyway, the buildings 
through which we just went are here the automatic farm, uh, which isn't automatic anymore because the plugin is not installed, but that's what it that's why it looks so weird. That's why there are railways everywhere. This is the empty post office. No messages have been posted today. The entrance to the mine down that hallway used to be an access to another city, but the other city was completely destroyed by the admins. It was I mean it's gone. Uh, because it erased. It, yeah, it was erased. It wasn't pleasing, so we got rid of it. And here is so the hotel. This was um, one of the first builds. This was so that people who came to work at Aqua could have somewhere to stay, um, because you know everyone needs um, everyone needs a chest, everyone needs a bed, and at that time Aqua didn't have any houses, and we didn't have any room to put the houses. So we said, you know what, come instead at the hotel, and uh, and yeah, there we go. And this is so. This is one of the suites. Uh, pretty basic, but hey, it's nice. The bathroom over here. Um, it's it, they're all pretty small. The the idea was not to have a fancy hotel, but rather a hotel where you could fit a lot of people. So there are 12 rooms, tw uh, two suites, and it's uh, it's it's a success. I really like this hotel, and it's definitely served its purpose. Over and here, it belongs to Aqua Style. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the the sandstone and the pillars with uh, stone slab, um, also a lot of uh, stone on the sides. It's uh, those are the three main buildings for aqua. which uh, yep. which determine the, the aqua style. Yeah, with the wood as well. Um, well, I'll show you the town hall very soon, which say, which is the the quintessence. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, which really represents what uh, what Aqua is, and this so is the um, is the mall. You can find all the different items uh, specialized by shops. So here's iron, here's gold and diamond, glass, nature stuff. Uh, let's see what do you have up here: redstone, wool. Here you just kind of have a couple tables because you want to chill out. You know, people like to go to the mall to chill out. And over here, a little fly. Uh, various items because some things don't deserve a shop for themselves but they're important people want to buy them so there they are uh, mob loots for uh, you know mean mobs aggressive mobs and here for the you know for the peaceful mobs we, we just didn't know so <laughs> for the moment it's just like that I don't know what we'll do at the end we'll just probably put whatever we'll see so sand sandstone coal wood stone pretty basic and uh, you know works with chests and signs like most servers. So yeah, it's um, it, we we wanted to have all the you know basic infrastructure of a city. And here is after the dome the very first building of Aqua, the town hall, which uh, as we said is you know, very representative of the style. A lot of sandstone here, a lot of the wood, and the huge open glass roof. Uh, I love this building. I designed it early on and I still think it's one of the best ones that I designed in the city uh, with a little you know, kind of, I don't know, festivity room, you know, just to have fun. Pretty empty because we can add stuff. Courthouse, uh, where I rule and tell people that they've been bad. Isn't that right, Cal? Don't look so guilty with a corridor that leads directly to the prison which is behind the police station which we will briefly see there's you know not much to see there and let's see up here we have the office of uh, Hevinger who was why well, yeah who was my assistant uh, he left the game but you know, we kept we left it there because he helped us a lot and the office of Kyle which is quite nice it used to be just a bed with lots of uh, chests, and he changed it, and I, I like it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, this room was my my living room, in, in fact. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like the hotel, so I, I came here. <laughs> I came to live here. Yeah, it was his bedroom. It was everything. So here's the conference room, where we decide the fate of mere mortals. And here is my office as mayor of the town. So it's it's pretty basic. It was it was done a long time ago, and 
you know we could have added a lot of things with the pistons and things like that but it was all done in like 1.4 and we just we liked that we liked it the way it was it was a lot of history and souvenirs we didn't want to go back into it here little kitchen and after all it was the very first Berlin of aqua yep it was the first building we didn't really want to touch it so sentimental value but we liked it the way it was right so oh here you can find the C here sorry let's reload a bit you can finally see the uh, tower of the harbor which then becomes the lighthouse here's the police station very basic Le lever to open the door uh, we won't go in it's, there, it's not much it's just we wanted to have that official feel and dogs in it of course here is the bank which again is typical of aqua I really like this building as well um, over here is uh, to change gold into zennies uh, do you want to open the door Carl? and over there is the office and see Carl will show you the secret of the vault because it looks like a real bank the way I designed it here if you flick that switch it opens this door and if you flick this switch it opens a door at the other end so you know it suggests that one thief can't go in and do everything and at the end of here is uh, you know it's, it's locked obviously and it is switched with the bug so what? oh I guess you changed the code we won't go in there well it has 10 levers and um, and so yeah it was uh, it was a lot of work, a lot of redstone involved behind it. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, I think my first big build with redstone, which I'm uh, pretty proud of. Anyway, so let's go ahead and lock Cal in there. Where is he? Um, you love you you closed the door. 